Back in my day, there's three levels of porn. There's amateur, pro-am, and pro. I got called by a producer to do a pro movie, and I showed up on the set to do my first scene. You have no idea what you're going to do. I remember sitting outside in my car, kind of going, wow, you're going to do a pro movie. And just having like a big bottle of vodka going, you know, uh, we can get through this, we can make it, you know, snort a line of meth. So in your eyes, something died. The carnival left this morning, stuck in this town. Only sound is the factory. You know, the girls are painted up like whores and, you know, the, the guys are just sweating like, you know, because it's so hot and, and uh, the whole thing is just really, it's uncomfortable. And then all I remember is uh, being by a poolside and I remember the guy, he actually was kind of nice and said, do you want to get high first? I said, yeah. I would take cocaine on the porn sets with me because it was great, you know, to, to give the girl you were going to work with a couple lines you were telling her you liked her, okay? Which is kind of retarded, but it really was the message. And that you, uh, believe it or not, cared for her. This was a sign of that, by giving this girl cocaine. Just in this setup right here, we, we're a small crew right here doing this interview, but, you know, add about six people to it. And, okay, and uh, Todd, we're gonna have you have sex right here on this stool, action. It's, it's not cool. And of course the pornographer's on the side going, oh, you're doing a beautiful job. Oh my gosh, isn't she wonderful? Everyone's like, oh, she's great. Where did you come from? You're going to be the next biggest star. You're going to be it. And pot for me was my relaxer before I did a sex scene. And it would kind of help me get to my zero place, my quiet spot, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, and zero out, you know, and, and be, a, um, be a performer for the day. You just like go inside yourself and hide inside yourself. You're like, I'm not even here right now. This is bad. This is just like... And you just, just kind of turn off. All I can say is I turned my human spirit off and I became like this zombie called Roxy. It was like I had this invisible bullet in my mouth to bite down on because the pain hurt so bad.